Figure one, the horse. This is a story about a horse. A horse whose fate was inextricably tied to the invention of film. And it all started with an innocent question. Do all four of a horse's hooves leave the ground at any point during a gallop? Leland Stanford, yes, the dignified chap who founded Stanford University, thought they did. All four of a horse's hooves leave the ground while galloping. But some other academics thought they didn't. One foot is most certainly always touching the ground. So to put the matter to rest, Stanford hired a professional photographer, Edward Moybridge, to capture the truth on film. There was a bet. Thousands of dollars were at stake, as well as a man's reputation. But wait, cameras at the time could not capture things moving quickly. There was no such thing as a movie camera in 1878. So Moybridge had to get creative. He devised an ingenious solution. 12 wire triggers and 12 shutters for 12 cameras, all evenly spaced to capture a horse and carriage on a racetrack. The carriage was driven across the tripwires, setting off all 12 cameras in less than half a second, capturing the truth. You can clearly see all four hooves have left the ground. Leland Stamford was right, but honestly, we don't really care about the horse. What we do care about, however, is Moy Bridges' newfangled contraption used to photograph things in motion. See what I'm getting at here? Thomas Edison and the Lumiere brothers certainly did. They took Moybridge's invention and changed the course of media as we know it, creating the motion picture. As for the academics who lost the bet, they're fine. They had tenure. <laughs>